Well, what's going on YouTube? This is Mitchell Wilderness Games. Today I am working on Street Fighter 2. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my shop down here in my game room. I am working on Street Fighter 2 again, which is in a Centauri track and field cabinet. Now, I removed this um, paint that was over the side art with alcohol last time, and it faded the art. The art is there, but it just doesn't look crisp. It looks very faded. See that? That's no good. Okay, some might call me crazy, but I am trying to save this original Capcom Street Fighter 2 World Warriors side art. My plan is to save it if I can, take a heat gun, pull it off the cabinet if possible, and then put it on some cardstock and frame it and put it on the wall because uh, Street Fighter 2 World Warrior is. Um, one of my favorite games of all time, and it's um, certainly the best Street Fighter 2 ever made, in my opinion. The hitboxes are right where they need to be, the moves are right where they need to be, and it's without, you know, diluting it with unnecessary characters. Anyways, um, I really want to save this art and use it as art in my game room. Man, I just feel like doing it, you know? And I uh, already did a bunch of work on some other games tonight. I rebuilt my, uh, I tore down, I rebuilt my stalker steering wheel. And uh, greased it up and everything. It feels incredible now. And um, I put several games on their backs tonight, track and field, special criminal investigation, and uh, I've worked on the, the tea nuts and unfroze them, if they're frozen and, you know, rusted shut, rusted stiff, they weren't moving, I fixed them and uh, And set them all to the right height so now they're really stable solid games the height they should be the ultimate plan is to convert this deconvert it back to track and field which sucks a little bit because I'm losing my favorite Street Fighter and probably a I don't know, top 10 favorite game of mine like of all time, all consoles, anything. Um, I never played the arcade version before, this version in front of me. Uh, I only played the Super Nintendo World Warrior um, version of that game. I played a bunch of the other versions of Street Fighter 2. Um, but yeah, World Warrior has always been the best for me. Like they changed Chun Li's like moves going forward. Like, they took away some of my moves that I use in my combos. Like, they gave her, like, a, a kick where she, like, jumps in the air. Like, they changed some of my moves. It's just stupid. It's like, no. And they allow, like, a, like reversals, like, where someone can get up. Like, while they're still down, and I'm setting up my combo to hit them as they stand up. It's like, oh, no, like, they hit you while they're laying down on the ground. Reversal. No, dude, that's trash. No. Anyways, I'm not gonna. This isn't a video of me griping about the changes to Street Fighter 2, but I am gonna. Um, I am gonna have to deconvert this to track and field because it's a track and field cabinet. It deserves a track and field in it, and I love track and field. It's a game I just 
found out about recently, the last couple of years. I never played it when I was a kid. I used to play in the arcades a lot when I was a kid. And I just never tried that game out. I don't know why, but I just never did. But, um... Yeah, this deserves to be a track and field, and it will be. So, um, that's a really fun game, and this is a track and field cabinet, so... It will be a track and field again. I'm gonna save... The Street Fighter 2 board set. And... I'm gonna find a cabinet for it, hopefully like a Z-Back, something that it normally would be in. Continuing the scraping saga, this is the next day. This is where I got on the bottom. Pretty good, considering where I started. And today, I'm also doing up here, there's a little tear that I could work off of. That is Ryu's face. Let's work on that. coming together it's almost done I have that spot there this here and up there and that's it um, to stop uh, uh, damage to my hands um, I had to put some birch bark on my thumb and on the side of my other hand Right here on the inside is birch bark taped. Because the way I hold this was causing nerve damage. Right, so I put the the edge, the thin, thin edge. Against my thumb. And um, my thumb. Started, my nerves started getting damaged to my thumb. Um, my thumb was numb for two days. Like even, even though I stopped doing this, I took a break for a couple days, and my thumb was numb for two days. And then um, 
started happening over here too because I, I hold the edge like this and it was cutting in it's causing problems with this finger as well so to protect my nerves there and there I have to take breaks because my my thumb joint right here is starting to get some damage here it's like almost like arthritis it's starting to even though when, I'm, when I'm not doing it you know the next day I move my thumb up I can feel pain so because I do this for like hours at a time and it just like beats my hands up so if you're wondering what this is that's what it is just try to limit the damage this is it the last little square Done. Success. We did it. <laughs> I'll take the shade off the line. We did it. Well, that was a lot of work. Work's not over. I still have to go over the whole thing and take off all these little flecks. It's like a little flex that didn't come off. take a little while but it'll be uh, much quicker work than what it has been so once I do that I'll get back to you but we are successful we've removed the paint over the original side art what's really cool is the um, the cabinet is a 1983 track and field right and so underneath all of this, hopefully, or at least initially, you know, I'll, I'll, okay, so I'll back up. From the factory, there's a factory art. Then at some point, it was painted over in 1983. It's painted over because there's paint um, underneath this as well. And in 1991, Street Fighter II art was put on. This is the 1991 layer. <clears throat> so that was eight years after. So the cabinet was eight years old, and somebody put Street Fighter II art over the track and field art. Or maybe they stripped the track and field art first. I don't know. I'm hoping the factory art's still underneath all this. And then, since then, after 1991, somebody painted black over this. So I just got past, you know, that could be maybe, say it was eight years old again, 1999. So, just, you know, no idea. So... Post-1991, black paint got put on this thing last. So maybe that was the year 2000, 1999, who knows. And I've stripped it down to 1991. It's like archaeology. Right, so I took off that layer. And now I'm at the 1991 layer. It looks awesome too, doesn't it? How cool is that? Now, it's not perfect. It has lots of little nicks and stuff. You can see a lot of little nicks. It's rough. But it's still super cool, man. And it's 1991 Capcom art. So I'm hoping after I clean this all up, which I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done cleaning it. I'm going to take all the little flux off and you know spray it down, clean it good. I'm hoping after 
after um, I clean it up, I can actually remove it. And I can put it on the wall. Is the art we want to save, boys and girls. That's the art we want to save. But can we do it? I don't know. We're going to try. We are going to try. And if I can't, I can't. You know, at least... At least I tried, right? You know, like, if I fail at doing this and destroy this art... Dude, I did my best, man. I gave it hours to save this original art. I mean, really. I just busted my butt trying to do it. If it dies, it dies. You know? Uh, at least it's better than just... destroying it outright... to do the job and just not even try. You know? And what's the worst I can lose? Um, time, effort, work... It's fine with me. You know, at least I put the put the time in. Middle section's tough. intense stuff.
Got a tear starting right there. So I need to pull it up, get underneath it. Past, past this line. There, I'm past it. See that? I'm past that tear. I need to be careful I don't pull too hard though because it's delicate. Let's continue. Another tear right in the middle. I heat it up. Try to drag it past. starting over here Alright, 
heat the whole thing up. carriage bolt right there. Blessings of the Lord right there. I made it past that. Oof, got a big one. survived it. Side to side. As I dip one side down, now it creates an angle. I can push that angle all the way to the other side. Then I dip it and I push that angle all the way to the other side.
this is the last little 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 lip here, a little less than an inch, just a quarter of an inch maybe. I'm seating it up because it's touching the paint on the side and it's it's likely to tear. Oh my god, we did it. Yeah. Check that out. Awesome. <laughs> but now, I need to put this on this canvas. And spray adhesive. I'm gonna hit on the hey look, if it's not perfectly square or anything, it is what it is. At least it exists. Reeks. I don't know if I've ever even used it before. I just found it in my uh, with my tools and stuff. did it rip it free from the cab <laughs> yes 1991 Capcom art salvaged found this underneath the black paint on my track and field cabinet underneath the paint was this glorious it is glorious look at that very cool so this art um, it's 1991 Capcom and it's on canvas I can put it on the wall love it right I love it I'm pumped that's for you, of course. Came out really good. Some of the glue is still... still curing. Some of the edges are curling a tiny bit. Nothing crazy at all. I'm going to just put it face down. Leave it for tonight. That's going to be a done deal. Man, that's sharp, huh? That's look great on the wall. Well, that's been Mitch, Wilderness Games. Hope you enjoyed this salvaging side art from an arcade game. Uh, this was from my track and field cabinet. I'm going to turn it back into a track and field, deconvert it, 
and I wanted to get this art off of it because it was worthy of it. I didn't want to just tear it down, shred it off, and, you know, just destroy it because that's a lot easier to do. I wanted to see if I could actually salvage it and save it. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.